YouTube, this is Mr. B. Crapful. What's that? You notice know, something new in my background? And it's the menu board. Well, half of it. Before we went completely digital. It's hard to believe the du double whopper was $6.59. And then the chicken club was $6.69. <laughs> nah. So, anyways, this is Mr. B. Crapful. As I said, said beforehand, and we're gonna go right into the crap. So crappy. So crappy. And it's always crappy. How much more crap must I adore? Damn it. So, what am I here to talk about today? Well, a lot of bullshit. Obviously. Uh, let's get right down to. The, the, the neck deep of things and uh, new products yeah let, let's just cover more new stuff uh, I said smoothies at some point um, wraps, chicken selects all this new product is coming out real soon um, going to be annotating the tags of those in the description below preparing you guys to you know get ready for when the, this stuff comes out um 57 and, and 58 are done, edited, well, 57 is definitely done being edited, 58 we worked on later on today, and this is 59. Uh, if you notice, um, the description, uh, not the description, but the view and audio discretion changed. I'm using the new one as we speak. Uh, post your opinion in this video of whether or not I should go back to the one I've been currently using since episode 40. Or use the new one that I'm currently using right now. So, I uh, appreciate the comments down below to let me know how you feel about it. Um, yeah, so in other news, uh, let's see here. Well, I was dealing with a lot of shit. I did a 5 to 4 shift and then a 6 to 3 shift, as stated before, for this uh, past weekend, and it was not the best of times. Granted, my manager was not there. It still sucked. Uh, sad to say. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just. I'm trying to get comfortable for this story. Not really much of a story, but just shit in general. So. My issue was the fact that, um, you know, I got there early, I got everything set up right away. Again, the sidetracking notions come back, pissing me the fuck off. And, uh, yeah, just got my break so late. That's the sad part about, um, what's been going on is that I began my breaks at like 11 o'clock. Uh, almost 11.30 sometimes, and you know I'm there at 5, 5.30. They're, they're pushing their limit in the whole six-hour thing and not giving me the break right away, which is bullshit. I should be getting a breakfast break, not a lunch break. Um, but we have no one that can come in the morning and help me, so I'm always stuck in this perpetual uh, loophole of, you know, I do the opening breakfast sh shift, do breakfast shift and then even do the transitional shift and do a little bit of lunch shift before I even go on my break. So that's not cool. And then the other four or five hours I'm getting fucking killed over with coupons. Yeah, that's you know, this is not much of a coupon. Where the hell did I put it? Must move it back up there. Hang on one second. I did. These fuckers. Yeah, I had to use old content to show you what I meant by the coupons. These fuckers, these fuckers are the fucking thing that's caused me to get fucking pissed off. But these are the the original coupons. They have a, it's a smaller version, has the um, chef's choice on it. But these are coupons that were back in July of the 31st. Not sure why I have it. But if you must know... Yeah, my 100% beef whopper. Uh huh. Okay. Hmm. 
If all these coupons were still good. Oh, hey, fun fact. This coupon actually shows a Tenacris with a corn dust bun on it. Right there. Huh. That's right, we, we stopped doing the whole corn dust bun thing. And that's where we had the old croissant. Oh, that's when we had the freaking, um... What's it called? Uh... The, the... Oh, what the fuck? The, the Chibata Club. There we go. Where it was the... Came out of Chibata Bun and had this, like, tomato kind of sauce. Uh, had ham, tomato slices on it with cheese and egg and bacon. It was a hot sandwich to begin with. But yeah, coupons are still pissing me the fuck off. We're still selling them like crap. Is this good? Uh, this is not good anymore either. Go figure. Oh, this is the one with the, the, the bacon and cheddar ranch tea crisp. This is when we had the Transformer movie going on. Ha. Huh. Forgot I had these coupons. Why am I collecting them? I don't know. I didn't realize I still had them, so. Yeah, coupons are pissing me the fuck off. Some Mad Wop still, still selling like Mad Toppers. Just those two products have just been getting sold ridiculously. And, you know, we did, we had a whole free onion rings not too long ago. Uh, stuff like that. And chicken fries are gone, so. I feel like I'm repeating a lot of shit. Um, what was new? Hmm. Oh, we're updating our registers. I forgot. Yeah, so we're getting a new register finally, a new register system uh, that involves a fingerprint login, log out, break in, break out system where you don't have to punch in your uh, code to clock in, clock out, you know, break in, break out. So all you do is finger touch it. You're fingering it and, uh, you know, allowing it to. Uh, get you in and out really quick. It, it seems more efficient and faster that way. But it is your choosing whether or not to do it. So it's your privacy. You guys can decide if you want to or not at your Burger King. Depending if your Burger King is doing it. Um, and you probably have the update already, but I, I don't have it yet. Should be getting it really soon, actually. So... Um, Fun fact, we had cookies still left over. We're trying to get rid of those fuckers. Uh, Cinnabons are a... F um, I mean, they're still good, but they're a flop. Nationwide, I mean, the prices of these fuckers are ridiculous. And customers are hating it. They Because they, they're not big enough. When you see a Cinnabon, you're expecting it to be like this big. Not something like this big. You're, you're, you're taking like... It's half the size of what you expect, I guess. So a lot of people have been disliking that. I mean, it, it tastes good, but for the price that we're getting them for, not worth it, I guess. I don't know. Two for th two for three twenty nine. It's pushing it, but you know, it's fine. Uh, it's better than the cinnamonies and the blueberry biscuits. I mean, granted, you only could get those in the morning. At least the cinnabons you get all day, but um. Yeah, so I'm trying to figure out what really went fucking wrong. And it was just this past weekend. I mean, granted, I knew what to expect for the opening shift. I mean, is it possible to get bored if you own stress? Um, cause like there was no the new two piece and the screen wasn't done obviously, so we had to do that. We had to get prep done. We had to get the truck done. Oh, and we were set up for failure on Saturday because of the lack of staff that uh, my manager decided to do for the kitchen. So when the truck order came around, one person had to do the truck while the other two people stand on board. I was one of the people on board, don't worry. But it was really bullshit of what they were doing. And then even, oh, duh. How c this is what I'm forgetting. I forgot the breakfast deals. This past weekend we had a breakfast deal of 2 to $3.00. And that was fucking nuts. I mean, we had like seven sausage egg and cheeses up for level, four bacon egg and cheeses, and three cheesy wraps on level for breakfast. That is very uncommon. 
um, since I've been working there. So these deals were really good, I guess. And yeah, we were, we were just getting jacked. <laughs> like Lily, order after order after order. You at least have the, the the average was three sandwiches at most for one order, and then you have those ridiculous amounts where they let up to four or five or seven, and even the French toast sticks. Holy shit! I think yes, yeah, Sunday we went through a bag and a half of French toast sticks. I literally made three nine no nine three piece orders. It was nuts. I was like, God damn it! Because there was one on drive through or four, then there was one for Eden or one, and then oh no, it was eight actually. Yeah, I fucked up the amount. But then and then you know another Eden order was like three, and it was like literally eight of them uh, within I would say three minutes of each other. So it was just nuts. Uh, we got the Italian chicken back. I almost forgot that. Um, so if you don't, you know, like the chicken too much over there, you always, uh, my personal customization favorite is making a tender crisp chicken sandwich in Italian style. So ask for cheese, but make sure it's the mozzarella cheese, add marinara sauce to it, and, uh, use bacon. Now, here's the difference, though, because when the Italian was first originally out, we had the corn dust bun, but now we have the hearty bun. Does it taste better than a hearty bun? I thought so. I thought it was pretty good on the hearty bun. So. Oh, and I, you know, like I said, the bacon. Can't go wrong with Italian food with bacon. Or can you? Hmm. Tough question. Um. <laughs> yeah, so that would, you know, Saturday was just nuts. And then Sunday was just as nuts. Well, for the morning shift at least. Lunch shift didn't seem too bad. Although I'm going by memory. Um, yeah, it didn't seem too bad. Other than I mean, we, were, we were stressing on prep because of the fact that we got hit so early in the morning. Um, we were still lagging like maybe a little bit of tomato prep and onion prep. Lettuce prep was fine because the prep I did on Saturday covered us for Sunday. We had some bacon prep leftovers. We just got more bacon prep and we had some pickle prep. So really it was just mostly onions and tomatoes we had to worry about. Um, we do have red onions, but the weirdest thing is the manager team orders a box. Did not notify us for, I would say, several weeks, maybe two at most. And then we're starting to use them. We're at the point where now all of them are pretty much molded. And it was kind of hard to find the the one that was just as, you know, the one that was ripe, at least. It was di difficult to do, but I did find two of them for each day, thank God. And, um, yes, yeah, so we had red onions for our chef's choice, but we've been substituting with regular onion because, I mean, you want to have a uh, chef's choice with no onion on it? I mean, you could ask for that, but, yeah, it was difficult finding uh, alternative ways to do that. We don't even have the romance lettuce anymore, or that, whatever the fuck it was called, the, the, the special lettuce that goes on the... Chef's Choice. We don't even have that anymore. We haven't had that for a good several months since it's been out. I mean, we did at first, but then we lost it. Uh, another thing we noticed, I noticed is we updated our boxes again. Uh, the water box and then the breakfast slash Chef's Choice slash T-Grass Tender Grill and Fish box were updated uh, to have like these images on it, I guess, or something like that. Look more colorful instead of like default red or default blue or default orange and brown orange on the boxes so and it, it seems easier to mark the sandwiches it, it looks more like a selling product than the previous one like the previous boxes were basing off designs that were from the wraps like the marking style and everything about it and then when they came up with the new boxes they changed it up to make it look more appealing I guess so, uh, we still haven't, our, we don't have our new shirts yet. I'm supposed to be getting my title card for, uh, production coordinator soon, which I forgot to mention, I am a production coordinator. Um, have been since episode 36, when we had our, uh, inspection, which I find out that I was promoted to production coordinator, even though I don't recall doing anything. First of all, we got to get this out now, and I need to specify it, because now I'm a mentor, I have to train people. I'm already training one person right now to get up there. 
like I said, the business is weird. Like, I don't know why I'm working at this Burger King. Everything I've been doing, it doesn't seem like I've been doing it right. <laughs> and I've just been going out for no reason. I'm afraid when I transfer sooner or later, this might go bad on my part. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so I'm supposed to be getting that soon, too. And, like I mentioned beforehand, we're supposed to be getting smoothies, a new ice machine. We're supposed to be getting new wraps, uh, a chicken select chicken type style that uh, McDonald's does. Um, a new spicy sandwich, I think, and uh, that's, or at least a new chicken spicy sandwich. It's like the tea crisp or something like that, or, or a chicken that's better than the tea crisp. I'm surprised. So we're getting a lot of new product that's supposed to be really different, really changing um needless to say it's 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 interesting uh uh shake up that we're having then again we've been having these changes again since the end of august so i'm not really freaking out as much as i did at first so it's just it's just been ridiculous on new after new after new update so but and yeah i guess it's pretty much most of my crap that i went through um, if I can remember, there was probably more details of me being angry and stuff like that, but I don't remember off of my head, so I'll try the best I can to remember what kind of shit was happening. So, um, that's about it for crap. Uh, if you want to check, uh, my other channels that are pretty cool to go look at or friends of mine, uh, like Noki76, SRC Shit, XEtherX066, Call Us Dramatic, uh, my social channel, Tom414870, Deviants, Dargasman92. I would look in my description below and just click on the links down there. Um, I would post them in the videos, but the annotations for them have just been tedious and I haven't had time. So, in the meantime, when I'm uploading these videos and I don't have the time to, you know, individually annotate them in the video screen, I'm just going to put them in my description for now. Um... Yeah, I'm still debating whether or not I'm keeping my Facebook uh, group slash page soon. I might get rid of it. Um, you'll know for sure when I do the new outro and stuff like that. I'm updating, like I said, my intro, outro. And I just did the view and audio discussion, so I would like if you guys could just comment see what you think of it. So, And that's about it. I'm going to wrap up this crap of 59. And when you see me on 60, I'll have a whole new intro and outro to work with. I'll be doing new segments sooner or later. I'll have at least the animations prepared, so when it does happen, you'll be prepared. Um, like I said, I'll probably redo segments. I'll probably redo the inspection ones. And uh, planning to make new ones like, you know, Crapful Exclusive. So, where I'll bring home a new product, show you guys firsthand, record it. And, yeah, even though if I still take forever to edit and everything and upload it, it'll still probably be outdated, sadly, so. And that's it, YouTube. This is Mr. Crapple signing out for now. Uh, in the coming week or a few weeks from now, just pay attention to my channel. I'll be updating it like crazy, you know, new background. Uh, I'll be updating the right side of it with whatever I could with the new... Uh, module that the YouTube channel is going to be using, so, and we'll go from there, I guess, uh, i sad to say that we have to update the channels, but it is what it is, so, and then I'll catch you later, and, uh, yeah, subscribe, to, you know, to my channel if you can, or like this video, it's pretty cool. So. Enjoy that video, All right, YouTube. Later. Subscribe for more videos. Also, check out my Facebook page down there. And I'll see you later, YouTube. Mr. McCrapple, signing out.